Democrats are continuing their TV ad war against Republican Stuart Mills. They're calling him an out-of-touch millionaire. But if he's elected, Mills would join hundreds of other millionaires in Congress, including from Minnesota. Here's Pat Kessler's reality check. Democrats are trying hard to caricature Stuart Mills into a wealthy, long-haired man of personal vanity and expensive habits. Third, he inherited millions. But if Mills wins election, he'll be like most members of Congress, a millionaire. All members, please rise. For the first time ever, more than half of Congress are millionaires, according to the Center for Responsive Politics. 268 of the 530 members checked have an average net worth of over $1 million. That's compared to the average American family's net worth, 220000 At $8.6 million, Democrat Al Franken is currently the wealthiest member of the Minnesota delegation, ranking 64th in Congress. His Republican opponent, Mike McFadden, has an average net worth of $36 million. He'd be 25th richest. In the House, three Minnesota millionaires, Democrat Colin Peterson, $1.6 million, Republican Michelle Bachman, $1.2 million, and Democrat Rick Nolan, $1.1 million. And here I am before you asking you for your support. If he's elected, Stuart Mills would be the richest member of Minnesota's delegation by far and ninth highest in Congress. He's a third-generation co-owner of the Mills Fleet Farm stores. His average net worth... $95 million. He's just behind a Senate Rockefeller, Democratic Senator Jay Rockefeller. He's worth $101 million. That's Reality Check. Well, seven Democrats are among the top 10 wealthiest members of Congress. The richest, though, is California Republican Daryl Issa. He's worth nearly half a billion dollars. So there's a lot of money in Congress. It, it appears to be. Yeah. I mean, who's worth more, though, Republicans or Democrats? You know, interesting question. People ask that all the time. Democrats are actually sl worth slightly more than Republicans, mm -hmm. but still both are right around a million bucks. Mm -hmm. But it could be a lot more because members of Congress are only required to report a range of income. Uh, so it could be higher okay. than the ones that we know. Okay. Well, great. Thanks, Pat. You bet. Mm -hmm.